All right, guys, back here at local with Matt, your residential so, green player, newest member of AFG. Shout out to the team. Yes, sir. And, um, yeah, he, he was playing this deck on stream, and we wanted to show you what the deck would actually look like if it wasn't Celebrations format. Yeah. And you see that nice banner in the background. I'm going to see if I can get that before I leave. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and get into it. What's the leader do, so, bro? Uh, we we'll play King Piccolo. It's, uh, it's basically the same as Red Piccolo, really aggro. So the leader, auto, add one card from your life to your hand, mandatory. Uh, when it attacks, you draw a card, and you just play a two-drop Demon Clan with 10k power or less from your hand. And then the Awaken, when your life is at four or less, or you have three or more Demon Clans, two-drop or higher, untap one, draw one. Mostly you just go to four life because you take your life really quickly. Uh, the backside has a lot of text. So permanent. When any of your Namekians or Demon Clans would be KO'd by uh, one of your opponent's skills, you can just pop a Demon Clan from your Z Energy instead. So it has a lot of protection for some stuff. If they have uh, mostly the one drop, if they have barrier removal, you can save it. And then auto, when it attacks, you draw a card, and then you get to play any three drop Namekian or Piccolo Jr. with 15,000 or power or less from your hand. So it just it, instead of playing just 10Ks, it plays 15Ks. It can play Piccolo Juniors, which comes up from time to time. It's just free battle card, just free aggro. And then the Z leader. So Z Awaken for 2Z uh, energy. When your life is at 2 or less, you just get to go ahead and Awaken for 2Z energy. No, you don't have to pay any regular energy for it. It's just free. It's got two permanents. The first one, all your green Namekian and Demon Clans gain plus 5,000 power permanent. Including him, so 20k leader boosts your whole board. So when you go for game, your whole board is nothing but like 20, 25, 30k swings. And then his second permanent, if you have a King Piccolo in your Z Energy, he gets another 5,000 and crit on your turn. So a lot of times you'll swing with this, play a guy, and then Z Awaken, and all of a sudden your your Z leaders now are like 25 crit, and you haven't even like comboed any cards, done any energy, anything. And his activate main, you just get to play a three drop or lower demon clan from your hand. It's pretty straightforward. I get into the deck. So we played four of the Turn king, the, bad boys around. the king piccolo seal undone. Uh, this is the heart and soul of the deck. It's basically like the piano of red piccolo. Barrier auto when it's played. If you have a demon clan already on your board, you just draw a card if it's played from your hand. And the second auto, limit one, uh, whenever you play a demon clan by a skill, you get to draw a card and take up to one life. So every turn, this card is drawing you a card, your leader's drawing you a card, you're taking one to two lives, and you're playing free attackers. Also played... Free pluses. We also played four of the Pilaf, Shu, and Mai. I know a lot of people are, like, not even playing this card, or they're only playing a few copies. So this card, auto, when it's played, you can draw a card, or you can play the one-drop Piccolo from your deck and just send this to the drop area. So it's really good. It's also an Earthling, which comes up, the reason I'm playing for it, comes up for the uh, super rare six-drop Goku. You can, like, the charge. Faded, the faded one. Yeah, the faded rivals. You can just, like, charge it to your Z energy, and it's an Earthling, so it's just another target to put back. Cause sometimes you don't want to charge your King Piccolos, and the only other cards are, like, super combos. So sometimes... You really just want an extra Earthling to charge. Then we're playing four pianos, one drop searchers. Uh, when it comes out, search the top five for any uh, demon clan, Namekian, or your two drop unison. These are your car for your twelve cards you want to see in your open hand. Pretty much. Then we got into the actual demon uh, demon army package. We have tambourine. This card, ten uh, two drop ten k has two autos. So the first one, when it's played, you pay a green and you draw a card. And the second auto, when it's played, you just pop something four or less on the board. So a lot of times, like, you'll go into this with your uh, Piccolo, with your King Piccolo on the board, and it's like plus six on turn two if you get to pop something of theirs. This draws you a card, your leader's drawing a card, taking a life, and your King Piccolo draws a card and takes a life. That's a lot of... Like, you go down and to then like, you awaken right then. Yeah, and then you can awaken. And a lot of times you go down to like four cards in hand turn one because you play the King Piccolo, so it just gets you back in the game. So then we have two symbol, uh, two drop 10K. So this is the other 10K. The first auto, when it attacks, choose up to two of your demon clans, and they get plus 5,000 power for the turn. So this swings 15K, buff something else 15K. 
in the second auto for one if your leader's King Piccolo. When this card uh, is used in a combo, your leader just gets double strike for the battle. So it's just its own mini Champa. It doesn't, um, it comes up sometimes, but it is something to know. Your Z leader is not King Piccolo. You cannot give this card double strike, as I have found out after doing several times. <laughs> Then we got the three drop drum. This card is pretty snap. So blocker, auto, when it's played, pop anything on their board, ignoring energy cost. The second auto, um, when it's sent from your Z energy to the drop, it's removed from the game instead. Then you got the activate battle, limit one. If this card is in your drop area, you basically just get to combo it. And then it would, if it would go to the drop, it gets warped instead, but you always just charge it to the Z energy. So it's just a free combo from drop whenever you need it. And it's a blocker, so I mean, it, it does everything you want it to do. Then we got the Unison. We're just playing the Piccolo, new two drop. Uh, the first auto is pretty cool. Anytime, uh, if you have a, any Z energy, anytime one of your opponent's battle cards is KO'd, it gets plus five for the turn. So a lot of times you'll have like a 15K and then you'll like charismatic villain something and now you have a 20K Unison and it's just harder to deal with. The plus one, real simple, draw a card. And the minus one is this card just gains dual attack. It, it which can come you, up. Which, which does come up a lot of times. You go really wide. And, I mean, a 20K dual attack is, is it solid. It ends up being a 20K dual attack, yeah. Then we play three Piccolo Jr. Vengeance Reborn. This card's good. Uh, so it's three drop 15K barrier. Counterattack limit one. If your leader is a Green King Piccolo or a Green King Piccolo or a Piccolo Jr., so it does work with the Z leader, you just negate the attack and play it. And then it has a permanent when your life is at three or less and you have either a Demon Clan or a Piccolo card in play, to energy cost of two or more, you just play it for free. And then it's a it's a 20k battle card on your turn with your like Z leader, so it's just another attack. 20k barrier. 20k barrier. Then we play three King Piccolo, newly youthful conqueror. This card's really good. Evolve for one over King Piccolo. You hardly ever do that. Mostly you play it with the second auto limit one for a green. Uh, if your leader's green King Piccolo, whenever you play a demon clan by an effect, so off your leader, you just pay one and he comes into play. And his second auto limit one, when he swings, he restands and he buffs two of your other demon clans by 5k. A lot of so, yeah, you get some pretty big attacks. Good thing these cards have limit one. Yeah. Oh, now yeah, this didn't have limit one. I could like spam out like three of them in a single play. Oh my god. Then we get into the cards that actually kill you. Uh, Sun Goku Faded Rival. So this card, six drop, thirty k, double strike, barrier, evolve for three over a Sun Goku childhood. That we don't play any. Um, so auto. When this card is played, you just KO something, ignoring barrier. And then. Activate main for two. If your opponent has three or more energy and you choose one of your Earthling, Namekian, or Saiyan battle cards in your Z energy, bottom deck it, you play it from your hand. So it's just a two cost. A lot of times you'll wind up putting back super combos that you've already used, which is really good. And I mean, this will help you close out games. And to go with it, we've got the Piccolo Jr. Faded Rival. This card is almost better in some ways. 6 drop, 25k, but it's 30k, you know, when you have your Z lead around. Dual attack, it evolves for 2 over a Piccolo Jr. with an energy cost of 3, so you can evolve it over the negate, that does come up. Uh, so auto, if your leader is green when this card attacks, your opponent pitches a card. And it's dual attack, and that auto is not once per turn. And then activate main, limit 1 for a green. If you have the Goku in play, you just get to play it from your hand, and then you get to remove markers off of an opponent's unison equal to the number of Z energy you have. So a lot of times you'll play Goku for 2, KO any of their battle cards, pay 1 for Piccolo Jr., and then clear their unison. And then, and then you pretty much just go for game from there. Then we kind of just got standard stuff. Four Charismatic. Four Paragus, still the best super combo. Uh, three Homicidal Clones. Still playing two Dormant, never leave home without it. Uh, just two Dormants? Just two Dormants. I mean, we side more. It's It feels like it'd be really good against like Red, but it's not that good. I mean, you'd rather just have Hard Negates. Oh, this is your... Then uh, Dark Broly, Heartless Berserker. It's... 
30k, it warps something. A lot of times, they'll play a blocker negate and think they're safe on an attack, and then you'll just play this and remove their blocker and swing 30k. So it's like secret identity? Pretty much. Uh, Champa and Celzino, your deck spams, so you get to 12 energy easily. I mean, two six drops, two threes, and a six. So do you think this is the best one? I think it's the best one. Any other choices you could recommend if um, people don't like the sales, you know? Probably the uh, the Kabito Kai is really good. I mean, you know, just it stops a whole turn. They can't attack with any of their battle cards. And then you can steal their unison if you need to. There's probably a lot of choices, to be honest, that it's, are available. Because green really has a good. very vast pool. Um, I mean, if you're on a real budget, there's always the... Uh, well, this is the cheapest, one of the cheapest secret rares. The, uh, the eight. Um... The green ape one that you know you combo it yeah. and then it just KOs whatever, yeah. Uh, um, and that's really good. But I think, I think this probably is it's the cheapest option too. It's like 20 I, think, bucks. I think it's like twenty bucks for a regular. Art. Yeah, sells sells super cheap. It's really good. I mean, I'll drop this on turn three or four sometimes if they're at one life just to kill them. So you can build this deck for like probably like. 80 bucks? Yeah, I mean, everything's in the set. Um, I'd say probably, yeah, like 80 bucks is pretty good. Then we got the rest of the Z deck. Uh, so we play one leader. We play four of the Frieza. Just uh, Resurrected Ambition. It's the only really good green one that fits. Uh, this card's pretty good. Costs two energy and one Z energy. Has Deflect Double Strike. Uh, when it's played, you just KO something on your opponent's board five or less. And then auto once per turn. Uh, you place a Z energy in your drop. And then when any of your green battle cards, two or more, uh, attacks, your opponent discards a card. So it's good. A lot of times you'll have plays, and you'll have just two energy up after you've done all your other plays. And so it's just a card that you can go into that's just a double strike. It's more pressure. Mm -hmm. And then we play.